we've done here is we have converted a uh, old compressor, old screw compressor, and we've repurposed it. it. Used to be a 50 horsepower air in. We have uh, added a few things to it, made a few modifications. We'll be eventually placing the outlet under a vacuum and recycling the steam. But at the moment, we're running this only with about uh, 10 or 15 psi. Uh, I'll check the temperature here. So 225 degrees, so we're only about 8 psi right now. Charge. 208 degrees. So atmospheric, slightly below, maybe a little overexpanded. Hooked to a 10 horsepower motor running at 480. Um, this is uh, currently set for a speed rating of 10 hertz rotating substantially above that we've derated the motor to about 30 percent torque just to maintain the field windings and we're currently generating about 1.3 kilowatts um, at 10 psi or less maybe eight uh, once again we check the steam tables but 225 i think is about uh, maybe between four and eight psi it's not very much um, this is a positive displacement uh, expansion of steam and we can recycle that steam by placing it into a spar unit back into a tank or piping it into a vacuum condenser which we'll be working on on the next project. But at the moment we have successfully converted a uh, oil filled rotary compressor into a uh, positive displacement steam turbine uh, without oil. So this is an oilless system and will allow us to recycle the uh, steam without contamination. So we'll have more videos going forward, but we're happy with this performance currently. Very efficient machine so far. We've got a lot of uh, condensate actually. Since this is overexpanded, we've already uh, condensed a large portion of the uh, steam actually in the process. And uh, uh, really quite happy with the performance here. Nice, quiet unit compared to. Some of the screamers to the right there, we we'll have another video or two of that. That is a different style of uh, uh, turbine. Uh, that one is employing nozzles and, and uh, kinetic expansion in the nozzle instead of a positive displacement. So two different types of uh, home or do-it-yourself projects. Uh, this we got out of a scrap yard and have successfully repurposed uh, the entire thing. I think we've got just scrap price into it, so weighed about a ton. I think I have $150 into the actual unit. And how many days it take us to convert this over, pull it apart, put it all back <laughs> together? Two days. So we got 16 man hours into it. Uh, really quite happy compared to the, uh, we have a little leakage there, we're going to, got some gasket uh, we need to make for the top of that, and we'll do that before we actually hard pipe it, but it will be hard piped into a closed loop system, and then we won't be losing any of this uh, water or, uh, or steam, um, but uh, show them the firebox, uh, it is Coals, but uh, not much fire, medium fire.
Tim, take them inside and let's go through the inverter and actually... but we're running this at 15 hertz right now so on an 1800 rpm motor that's about 450 rpm uh, we're outputting about 3.1 uh, amps right now of 480 volts or actually excuse me of, uh, the bus voltage is 665 so in DC we're putting out 3.1 amps times 665 volts, that would be, there was 700 times 3, that would be 2.1 kilowatts. So we have about 2.1 kilowatt worth of output um, that is being consumed and is wired directly into the 480 at the DC bus level. Go back outside. video we'll show you more when we got one 